you know, um, people know that pyramids create a lot of natural energy and power. But according to Jason, you can actually learn or get some of that energy or power by doing their postures. Yes, that's absolutely correct. Do you have to go to Egypt to do it, or you just read the book and learn it? No, because um, remember, our body is a natural amplifier of energy. So um, we collect energy, we're an open energy system, and energy flows through us in a very specific way. So when we stand in various postures, uh, we actually create electromagnetic fields around our body. And depending on what postures we use, um, we can change the structure of how energy moves through our body. So you're the author of Egyptian Postures of Power. Yes. When did you write this and why? I wrote this in 2010. And I've been doing Qigong for a very long time. And I started to, um, I was introduced to the pharaoh cylinders, which are uh, rods that uh, the pharaohs would hold in their hands. You were introduced to this? Yes. These, Did you uh, read it somewhere or you uh, met someone who was an expert uh, Mars, on this? Mars uh, from Shungite. He um, introduced me to his pharaoh cylinders of Shungite and soapstone. And when I held them in my hands for the first time, I felt a huge amount of energy surge through my body. So it was a very powerful experience. So I knew that there was something to this. And when I looked at the ancient artwork from Egypt, every statue was holding these rods in their hands. Um, so it was a very ancient system. So what I did was, I documented every single statue artwork that I could find. Wow. In all their postures. And I studied what they were doing. How many years of study was this? This was about uh, three, four years of study at least. Just trying to find as much postures as I could. Yeah. From these descriptions and the walls, yes. artwork, From stuff artwork like that. And statues, and I compiled a huge database of these uh, statues, and I started to use them and practice them. And the energy was incredible. And then I took this information to a, uh, different Qigong masters, and they would actually help me uh, put it together an entire system. Oh, that's awesome. What do you do yes. with the crystals? And and how many different postures and what are, the, are the postures good for different parts of the body, organs, or...? Yes. Right now I have uh, three books. Um, the first one is Egyptian Postures of Power, which is a healing one. So this takes you through um, healing the physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual bodies. So it's a very healing uh, system and we call it uh, the Salute to the Sun. The next system, which is called Salute to the Moon, um, this system actually starts to work with spiritual centers of the body. So it amplifies and creates pathways of, of opening up gifts and uh, very spiritual things. The next posture book, which is not out yet, which I'm going to introduce in a year, is going to be uh, the postures of the Pharaoh, which is all very uh, powerful China, postures used from the Pharaoh to the people for which very uh, healing purposes. So let me get this straight, uh, Jason. You, you, you did your research three, four years, documented all the different postures, and then you started releasing them in different different books just to gradually get it into the person because right. obviously like beginners maybe advanced is your third book or yes. fourth book. I see. Because uh, the first book anybody can do and it's good for everybody. But as you start to progress it becomes um, very powerful. And if you're not ready to channel those energies through your body. Um, Excellent. That's a very smart a way of marketing good, yes, a concept. A very good base to yeah. get into the higher spirit. So tell me about the base. What kind of postures are they and, and how often do you do them? Um, I would suggest doing the postures uh, once a day. It takes about uh, 10 minutes to do. And it's kind of like you become your own uh, energy healer. So every day you're channeling and moving your own energies into a very high rate. So it starts to move and clear energies every single day. So once we heal ourselves, and that's the most important thing, we have to always heal ourselves first. Once we have a base of healing, that's when we can step into higher information. Okay, um, you, you mentioned earlier that uh, off camera when I was talking to you that you were sleeping for two hours, for two weeks, because you're doing these postures like nine times a day? I was doing the salute to the sun nine times a day, and the energy was so powerful that I didn't even need to sleep. I slept maybe two hours a night. For two weeks? For two weeks, and uh, I would wake up every night at like two, three in the morning, fully rested and alert, 
Kate, but uh, didn't fit my lifestyle. Yes. <laughs> so I just dropped it down from nine to one, and I feel great. So it's like every time I practice the salute to the sun, for me, it actually feels like there's a sun in my bedroom or a sun in my meditation room every time I practice, and you feel the heat on your skin while you practice. So it's a very healing. And what does that posture look like? Um, Is that well, a it's a series of postures. Okay. So there's about 12 postures that flow into each other. Interesting. Okay. Wow. It's like off the chart. This is the kind of stuff I look for or and that I attract. So, um, what's your background? Um, my background is in energy medicine. And I've studied uh, energy medicine for a couple of years. And then I studied uh, Algonquin shamanism. Uh, I went to Peru and I studied with different healers. Uh, and now it's just intuitive. So the postures have actually opened me up in a way where I can tune into people, I can tune into plants, I can tune into crystals, and I get start getting my own information from it. Wow, very interesting. More information, the website contact would be uh, the www.sun.com. Jason Quaid at thecrystalsun.com and Egyptian Postures of Power. It's so shiny and dull.